The final two tracks that we're going to play are from the, uh, what's the name of the album again that they're from? Uh, Thagabones of the Western World. And I bought this album and it was pride of place in my record collection and I knew both of these tracks backwards and I can just play, I can play the song and I can play your guitar solo in my head. In your head, Note yeah. for note. <laughs> it's burned into my, my, my brain, it has been and... It's fantastic. They are the, the guitar on both of these is just absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because you said, you know, who are the guitar players that you inspire inspired mm. you when I was when I tried being a lead guitarist sure. and I wasn't very good at a lead guitarist. Sure. Well, the answer was one of them was you inspired oh. me, Eric Bell, who oh. was one of the inspirations. Um, very nice. Maybe Mick Ronson, who, who yeah. was with uh, David Bowie. Maybe yeah, you know, sure. Others. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> uh, so. The uh, the track, of course, and um, it's very much to do with uh, Phil, as you, call, you like to call him Philip. Yeah, uh, yeah. I feel I've got yeah, to know Philip yeah, yeah. Through, from what you've told me. Sure. I feel he's almost become like he's, he's but but much more real person. Than okay. Before. But it's very much about him. He it's all that he is the rocker. Is that would that be true? Is he? Is it, is it somebody else or is it really him? This this guy in the t- the title of the song. Well, Philip went through, uh, like as far as I can, uh, as far as I could figure out, he went through a metamorphosis, uh, uh, a sort of a change, definitely. When I met Philip first, he was very soft-spoken. Uh, not, wasn't a hippie, but he was into peace and love a bit, and so on and so on, and um, very gentle type of bloke. Uh, years later. I think it was around the time that we did record the rocker. He started changing his image uh, from a sort of soft-spoken guy into a macho man. He started wearing leather, armbands, and so on and so on. And um, I was sitting. uh, uh, We used to live together in this house in Dublin. And a lot of the, the one on Castle Avenue. That's right. The the flat. That's right. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I was there. I took a photograph. Oh, did of you? It. Yeah, oh, when brilliant. I was back there a couple of months ago. Yeah. I had Brown or Brown down here. Somebody told me that they're trying to get a plaque on. Oh, yeah. Outside it. Yeah. That, that Philip and myself lived there. I don't know whether it'll happen yeah. or not. <laughs> but um, like what used to happen was I'd be sitting on the couch in the in the house that we shared, and I'd be playing acoustic guitar, and Philip would walk past and go. Is that yours, Eric? And I'd go, no, it's from this album. Okay, and they'd walk away. And then he'd walk past me again the next day and go, well, is that yours? And now and again I'd say, yeah, that's my idea. And we would go down to his bedroom, two acoustic guitars, and start working on the song. On this particular day, I was playing this chord sequence. Um, that's the one at the very beginning? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And also, dun, 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 that yeah. type of thing. Yeah. And he said, is that yours, Eric? And I said, yeah. And he started working on it. And uh, we were travelling to a gig one day, about a few weeks later. And Philip was in the front. And he had his, um, he had his lyrics book, which he always carried in, in this bag, and a pen. And he was writing away in the front. I was sitting in the back with Bran. And then Philip said, hey, Eric. Look, I've got uh, I've got lyrics for that song, The Rocker. Do you want to read them? And he passed me the book back, and I started reading it. And the first line was, I am your main man if you're looking for trouble. And about half an hour previous, the radio had been on, and Mark Bolin, our T-Rex, was playing on the radio. And there's a line, and it goes... Um, uh, I'm Tally Graham Sam. I am, I'm your main man. Yeah, I know it well. Right. Well, Philip took that line. Yeah. I am your main man. Yeah. If you're looking for trouble. Oh, I would never, never have realised. Yeah, the that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we went in and recorded it, and we thought it was going to be a big hit. And it was. <laughs> well, it, it it wasn't a hit as as such in the top twenty, but it, it was it, it got maybe about twenty eight. But it was a very underground sort of song, and yeah. everybody knew it, you know? Yeah, yeah. So if you'd like to introduce it. And this one's called The Rocker. Yeah. 